Sawadee Kap, I'm JP Mistanza. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Chelong police have yet to begin their investigation into an international primary school in Rawai accused of hiring foreigners illegally to work as teachers, but there's more to the story. Chelong police were requested to investigate Palm House International School for possible illegal hiring practices after two British nationals were arrested at the school on November 4th by officers from Phuket Immigration. Now, while both people have denied those allegations, police declined to give any further details like what their explanation was, why they were at the school, but the lead investigator did say the investigation will most likely conclude next month. Here's one thing to consider. In order to work in Thailand, you need to have a non-immigrant B visa, which allows you to get a work permit, and in order to get it, you have to leave the country and re-enter Thailand, but with COVID-19 protection measures in place, forcing anyone who enters Thailand to quarantine for 14 days and pay for it, it's unclear how many schools around the country are dealing with a reported shortage of foreign teachers, many of whom left Thailand to go back to their own countries due to the situation. Now, back to this case, the lead investigator told the Phuket News that they have yet to question the owner of the school. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Crown Property Bureau sits on a plot of land in Bangkok's Nakhon Ratchasima Road, and it's the next site that protesters plan to gather to draw attention to their calls for reforms of Thai society. But police are preparing. The CPB is a royal building and thus is considered off limits for protests according to the Public Assembly Act which prohibits any public assembly within 150 meter radius of any royal buildings. Demonstrators plan to organize a mass rally there tomorrow, Wednesday, November 25, with one protest leader, Mike Jacknok, saying last week, quote, that they would demand the return of taxpayers' money. The Crown Property Bureau is the agency that handles the properties and assets of the monarchy of Thailand. And although it's not a formal government agency, the CPB does receive funding from the Thai government. Reports say that taxes on any assets controlled by the CPB in Thailand have only started being collected in the last two years, but they were tax exempt for the entire time beforehand. In 2018, His Majesty King Mahavajira Longkorn took legal ownership of the CPB assets. Reports also say Thailand's royal wealth portfolio is worth somewhere between an estimated 30 to 50 billion US dollars, which includes prime real estate throughout the country, especially in Bangkok, as well as large stakes in some of the biggest companies in Thailand, including CM Commercial Bank and CM Cement Group. Because of this, some protesters have called for a boycott of CM Commercial Bank. Meanwhile, in Parliament, some lawmakers on the Move Forward Party, the opposition, they've used their seats on the Budget Committee to look into royal spending. And according to Financial Review, the royal office will spend about 9 billion baht or $290 million this year alone, more than twice the amount budgeted just two years ago. The royal family is protected from criticism thanks to Article 112 of the Criminal Code, the Les Majestés Law, and violators can face up to 15 years in prison for any criticism of the royal family. But protesters have been vocal about their support for reforms of the higher institution and have made it one of their central demands in the ongoing protests, along with calls for the resignation of the premier and a new constitution. Meanwhile, police have been barricading the building, placing barbed wire on the walls in preparation for Wednesday's rally. Prime Minister Prayut chan also stressed that martial law would not be introduced to prevent his, this, or future rallies, dismissing the idea that there will be a military coup. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket X, you'll be right back after this. The Lagoon Saloon Phuket, the LSP, is Phuket Boat Lagoon's newest nighttime venue catering for all private parties. Get in touch via Facebook to discuss. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. This young woman is 20 years old, and in order to call attention on sexual harassment in Thailand's education system, she wore her high school uniform, went up, held up a sign that read, quote, I've been sexually abused by teachers. School is not a safe place. And she's now facing a firestorm of criticism online. 20-year-old college student Nalingrat Dutaptim covered her mouth with tape during her protest at the anti-government rally in Bangkok last Saturday and told Reuters that she wanted her case to raise awareness of 
harassment in schools. She told reporters that she was sexually harassed in school several years ago. Her protest prompted a barrage of criticism online, including from one member of parliament, Parina Krakup, who's facing an investigation that her family's chicken farm encroaches on forest land. She criticized the 20-year-old protester by saying she's not a student and is still wearing a school uniform and is drawing attention and needed to take responsibility and that she plans to file a police complaint against that girl for wearing the uniform while also saying that there should be a police investigation into her allegations. Senator Somchai Sawankan also condemned protester Nalingrat for damaging the country's image and said she should be punished if her accusation found them to be untrue. In response, Ms. Nalingrat said it was their right to criticize. Earlier this year in May, five teachers and two alumni from a public school in Mukdahan were charged over repeatedly gang raping two student girls aged 14 and 16 and video was taken of the acts and used to bribe the girls to stay quiet and it all took place allegedly on school grounds. Then a music teacher in Chumpon was accused of raping a 12 year old girl at a resort while a 39 year old teacher in Buriram was arrested for performing obscene acts on a 12 year old student. These are three separate incidents and they all took place in May 2020 alone, one month. Even just last month, a school director in Konken was arrested over allegations from five different teen girls that he sexually assaulted them. The education ministry has set up a student protection center meant to tackle the issue. Still, critics say privacy protection still has to be considered along with better monitoring mechanisms and response protocols if the education ministry wants to actually get rid of sexual assault in schools. Hundreds of organizations and even UNICEF have called on the Ministry of Education of Thailand to truly look into the issue. A YouGov poll in 2019 found that one in five Thais had experienced sexual harassment with men almost as likely to face it as women. The most common form of sexual harassment was sexual assault, reported by 44% of those who had suffered harassment, only 10% say reported to incidents to the police. What was billed as Thailand's biggest ever drug bust in Chachong Sound province last week is now turning into a dud as reports say that almost none of the 11 and a half tons of quote ketamine found in a warehouse was actually ketamine. Thailand made headlines around the November 12 after officials found the 11 and a half tons of what they said was ketamine at a warehouse in Chachong Sound province, allegedly worth nearly $1 billion. The seizure only happened after police in Taiwan in late September made a drug bust of 300 kilos of actual ketamine and alerted Thai officials since Thailand is a known shipping point for drugs to enter Taiwan. But after a sample test on Saturday, officials are slowly finding out that almost none of the product, product that they actually found at that warehouse was real ketamine. Thai police say they found sacks that look like those found in the drug bust in Taiwan, but lab testing has yet to find ketamine. The product, as police are learning, turns out to be a compound used in pharmaceutical and food production, trisodium phosphate, although they're still testing more of the product right now, since there's a lot to go through, and police perhaps could find it hidden among the sacks. Still, that hasn't stopped the Crime Victims Assistance Club from filing a complaint against the Justice Minister and the Office of Narcotics Control Board accusing them of giving false information to the public over the seizure. Justice Minister Somsak Tetsutin is blaming it on a technical error with the initial field tests of the drugs, which led to the false claim. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Two new COVID-19 cases confirmed in Thailand today both quarantined arrivals from India and Pakistan, including a five-month-old Indian baby girl who flew on the same flight as two previously confirmed cases. The new total for Thailand is now 3,922, with 96% of patients recovered. The death toll remains 60. Thank you for joining us at Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. 
condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.